Hello, welcome to my talk. Uh, today, my summary is on chapter, I believe it's chapter four, it might be chapter five. Anyway, it's a meditation, breath. So it's talking about breath and about meditation. And it was a short, short um, chapter, but really cool. Like it's talking about him and how he started meditating that he didn't understand it and that he kept thinking other things when um, when they asked him uh, to, to meditate and they said breathe and he was saying but I still think of all these other things um, and then his, his teacher would tell him just breathe and then he started breathing and then he said oh I think so he's concentrating on his breathing and not on the things that are distracting him. So, you know, breathe in, breathe out. And, and that's how you meditate. You, you try to leave the distractions and come back into your breath. And, and that, that would be it. Now, they, he talks about people uh, not liking meditation because meditation is to bring you back. I should have brought that. I am getting you where you want to be. Meditation may show you what you don't want to see because it, it's, you know, you're calm and your breath and then you start, especially like I did in 2020. I did his meditations. It was uh, 30 days of meditation or 20 and then he did another. Uh, set, but he would uh, guide the meditations and tell you, you know, what to to do at the beginning, which I'll show, I'll tell you right now, and then you're like deep in there with your breath, and then he would tell you, okay, now climb this mountain and look on the side and see what you see. Uh, do you see a cup? And you know, and you would like look and imagine the cup and walking up and I get tired and never, the whole thing it was. I loved it. That's my first experience with medita meditation was 2020 with Jay Shetty. But um, it was good. And then it starts talking. I remember this one time that I started crying like a crazy person because, you know, it, it, it just brings you, depending on what he's asking, it brings you to what's painful in you. Um, or he'll tell you, think of uh, like a special place, a special place you wish you had. And then, you know, you meditate and you go there and you relax. So um, it's, I really enjoyed it the whole time. I like guided meditation though, because I guess that's the first type of meditation that I experienced. And, and I am, you know, I like movies. I like the lyrics of the songs I like I get into all that stuff right so when he's talking I'm, I'm imagining all that and it's comforting I like it I like him telling me what to imagine and or what to go to and and go there um, I've tried other meditations like the program I'm, I I do the one I'm coach for um, they have meditation where it's just sound or where they just say, okay, now just breathe. And you just start breathing. That's when my mind goes like, okay, so I'm tired of doing this. Da, 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 da. You shouldn't think of anything. You should just think of the, your breathing patterns. That's meditation because that totally calms you and just like, you just breathe. I love breathing. And with intent. Um, but anywho, that's, that's what he says. Um, where they, I guess he talks about breathing techniques, but the Rick da da the he talked about them, but I didn't quite understand them. So I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go to try to explain to you what I didn't understand. So I'll read it over and then maybe I'll I'll do it again. But let me go. I wanted to to do a meditation, but I I don't know how to you know, make the camera work with me. So I'm just going to read you this, which is what he said. Like I read this and I was like, oh, because when I, when I did this in, in 2020s, this is how he would start. So, um, 
he will he will say these things and first for the coming breath work breath work preparation for the coming and then energizing breathing exercise i described below begin your practice with the following steps and these are the steps and i listen to them and, and it just feels good but step number one find a comfortable position sitting in a chair sitting upright with a cushion or lying down i used to lie down and then the second close your eyes three lower your gaze yes you can do this with your eyes closed well, because you know um, i always close my eyes i always thought before i even did yoga or, or meditation that you had to close your eyes in order to to do it i think you would because if you open your eyes then you'll be distracted anyway uh, four make yourself comfortable in this position five roll back your shoulders bring your oh six bring your awareness to calm and balance and ease that was my favorite part ever when he says bring your awareness to calm and balance and ease stillness and peace whenever your mind wanders just gently and softly bring it back to calm balance ease stillness and peace i love that part that's just at the beginning and then you would start saying things but here's number seven now become aware of your nature of your natural breathing pattern don't force or pressure your breath just become aware of your natural breathing pattern and then he, he says that, that uh, we were taught to or he he's i'll just read it uh, at the ashram we were taught to use diaphragm diaphragmatic breathing to do so place one hand on your stomach and the other on your chest and okay so i guess oh no it's still because that was number seven then he says this and he says breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth when you inhale feel your stomach expand when you exhale feel your stomach contract continue this in your own pace at your own time when you inhale feel that you are taking in positive uplifting energy when you exhale feel that you are releasing any negative toxic energy he would say all that too and then eight lower your left ear to your left shoulder as you breathe in and bring it back to the middle as you breathe out lower your right ear to your right shoulder as you breathe in and bring it back to the middle as you bring out 10 Re really feel the breath with no rush or force and your own pace at your own time um, and that's it those are 10 steps and then he would start his story so it was it was long it was about 20 minutes when when you sat there you needed 20 minutes to just go because it's taken me eight minutes just to read this but um then i'm just gonna keep reading this because I, I thought this was new breathe breath to calm and relax yourself do this after you've done the breath work preparation above Breathe in for a count of four through your nose and your own time at your own pace. Hold for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four through your mouth. Do this for a total of 10 breaths. That's to calm you. And breathe for energy and focus. Kapalabhati. Do this after you've done the breath work preparation above. Breathe in through your nose for a count of four. Then exhale powerfully through your nose for less than a second. You'll feel a sort of engine pumping in your lungs. Breathe in again through your nose for a count of four. Do this for a total of ten times. And then there's breathe breath for sleep. Breathe in for four seconds. Exhale for longer than four seconds. Do this until you are asleep or close to it. And that is the end.
now we're moving on to grow for next week but just pause and and redo what i just read and that is you know how you meditate it's mostly breathing and then of course after he did that he would tell us to do like the stories like go up the mountain or go to your favorite place and what does it look like what does it smell i love going he said like what does it smell like and then you're thinking mm, i like the smell of watermelon or you know something or um you know he would do the one where he says go if if like feel like you're going back to your your child to you as a child and what would you tell you yourself as a child if you could go back and, and see you, you an adult, and see yourself back as a child? And that was like, it's, it's crazy. He just did a lot of, I mean, in, in 20 days, like he did it twice. So it was two months of Jay Shetty meditation on a daily, I mean, 2020, we had nothing else to do. So that, that was really I really enjoyed it that was where I started doing all this like seeing other I, I started listening to other people other podcasts and and it really made me want to grow and do things and be uh, present to myself to my people but anyway um, hope you love it uh, try it and um, let me know if you if you liked it, enjoyed it, or you want to know more about this. Because my plan was to actually do the whole uh, meditate for, but then I think you know I don't have that much time, and um, I don't know if people would even watch this. So anyway, this was fun to talk about it because I I really did enjoy it when we were doing it back with Jay Shetty in twenty twenty. I love this book so far and um, 